Hello and welcome to a Squad Ops One Life event. Hey, oh lord, I was in game. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we are gonna play Operation Cobweb. Cobweb. It's a patrol operation, but it's uh it's a I guess it's a simultaneous patrol operation. The idea is that our admin is going to give uh our admin or that team's high command is going to give them a patrol coordinate and then there's going to be a patrol executed. Um and by design, these patrols will overlap, will either overlap or will result in one team becoming a defender of a point against an attack or is sorry me that was english i swear one team will either the team well, sorry i had caffeine today guys i had a red bull and i decided to make coffee on top of that and that was the stupidest thing i could have done let's start over let's just let's go to black go to black Hey, welcome to Squad Ops. We got a one life event for you today. We have Operation Cobweb. Cobweb is a, like a simultaneous patrol operation where uh, one or two major scenarios is going to take place. Our Russian and American teams will go on patrols at the same time. They'll be given a coordinate to patrol two. And depending on how the patrol goes, they'll either meet, uh, during the patrol. So they'll we will have contact while both teams are moving to the designated patrol point. Or one team will actually reach their patrol point and then set up a uh, operating outpost. Operating outpost. An outpost. They'll set up an outpost at that patrol point and the team that didn't make it becomes an assaulting element. So lots of uh, variety potentially going on here it's all it's all off the cuff it's all not planned out uh the only person that has a plan is the admin and um evan's a cool dude we're not gonna we're not gonna you know i'm gonna turn this down a little bit i think i'm peeking the mic am i peeking my mic Whatever, we're gonna roll with it. Um, yeah, so Cobweb, let's go over the map uh, for Beneshaw. That's not Beneshaw. Dang on it. Uh, that's Halberd. That was last week. Let me pull up the uh, the op map for, for this week. Big, big question marks, big question marks all around. Uh, team loadouts are going to be the same for either team, so we could just go back and forth here, honestly, as I, uh, to tell you guys, God bless actually having this set up. Each team is one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic per squad. Platoon Armory has five ammo bearers. And, uh, if they put down a, uh, OP as part of their mission objectives... They'll put down a fob. They'll get access to an HMG. They'll be given. They'll also be given enough, uh, you know, supplies to make the HMG possible, stuff like that. They also have fortification, off-map possibilities, off-map support. They have two artillery smoke barrages uh, possible, and they have a UAV mission on standby. Of course, they are both conventional forces. UAV missions are probably not gonna. Well, actually, you know where you reason mod. Never mind. Strike that last bit. Uh, expect UAVs whenever, um, but the, uh, the high command for each team will decide what resources are available at any given point. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be going blue today. We're going to be going USA. 
Obviously, we're going blue. It's always going to be blue for us. We're never going to be red on stream. That's not how this works. Uh, we're going to be following blue, uh, U.S. in blue. Russia will be in red for both rounds today. So round one, Lawn Darts commanding with Mr. Raggy. We got Phil Nye, K9, Oddball, Combat Sloth, rolling for blue. And uh, op four, we have Krusty, Dashby, Spin, Hovis, Stretch, new reg, uh, with Decrum commanding. Evans, our admin right now. He's rolling over on red four. I'm going to be on blue four, potentially serving as a liaison. So uh, watch out. I might actually need to actually talk to command and stuff. Londars has a plan and he's going over it right now. We're going to listen in on. That's marked with the Hotel 5 3. He just went in there. I just turned the microphone we're on. Have, so, uh, squads 4, 3, and 2. We're going to listen in the rest here. On the west side of this uh, road to our south in the forest. And uh, on the east side, 5 and 6, that'll be our platoon column. Once we get uh, down to the uh, point where we're meant to uh, patrol, we're going to have uh, squad 2, Reggie squad, be the first to uh, go and investigate while he's uh, having a look around in Hotel 5 3, letting us know what uh, what's what. I want uh, all others to uh, just hold a uh, perimeter in our formation. Once HQ lets us know what the next mission is, in terms of our uh, movement, we'll then, uh, in command net, organize uh, how we're going to get there. So uh, listen out when your squad leaders are telling you in terms of how you're going to move. It's my intention to do this as a platoon with us pretty much all together. Um, and other than that, go through the background for this particular mission. So we've been here in Poland only for about uh, three days now, and uh, we've got a lot of uh, rookies, not many veterans in our ranks. So everyone's looking forward to the first taste of battle. Now, initially, we're going to be asked to establish some sort of combat outpost and uh, get a perimeter around it. Uh, also, if uh, Intel's provided of a Russian outpost, we'll then proceed to attack it. We don't know which. and. The call was made by HQ. Any questions? Do, do we know if the enemy has vehicles on any way or anything like that? We have uh, we have no idea really what the Russians have here. We've come into very light with them uh, last evening. Look at these lines. Wow, that's tremendous. Should I do boots on the ground for this? I don't know. I wonder. I don't really like the. I don't like the stream and play at the same time because I get. I get invested in my rounds. I uh. I don't know, man. We've also been up for. Nigh on 24 hours now, so. I wouldn't be good anyway. Contact is using your three uh, D's direction, description, and distance, and then uh, listen out for uh, orders to maneuver. If we need to uh, move on any position, do that with uh, squad suppressing, oh, oh. other squads moving. If we need to retreat, uh, we'll do the same under fire. Any other questions? Sure. Right, so we'll just, uh, let's get, uh, get the little pan clip there for. For no reason, because I want it. I wanted the clip. All right, now that I've st stopped screwing up my uh, spectator thing, cool. All right, so now I guess we're in a holding pattern, ready to go. Uh, that's the U.S. brief. Obviously, the Russian brief looks like we have a Fox Five Seven patrol point, so they're going to be given several patrol points. Uh, first point rumor for U.S. is Hotel 53, Hotel 52. We're moving south, guys. Yeah, we're moving south. I could talk on command comms. Oh, we're live. Here we go. Round one of Cobweb is started. You best be ready Scottish. to go more. Do you dip everything in mayonnaise? No. Mm, Marmite. No, you're thinking of Belgians. 
Why are they still talking about... I guess they're holding back. I guess two squads are going to go first. They're going to stagger their approach here. Command also moving out through the forest. Uh, I'll take a look. Left shift P and it should get you in admin cam. When you're dead, obviously. Okay. Take a look at uh, what's going on here. This is the forest that the people are walking into. This is about eye level. Take a look at the uh, point men for this particular squad moving up. We got kimchi here. I don't think I hear you, man. Okay, so if I need to relay something to Jack, I'll have to go for you, kimchi. Uh oh. Jack having audio problems is not good. We got a rich up here. Fire team lead leading the way. Well, I guess if uh you have to get things done, you do it yourself. I'm gonna I'm like stutter stepping my keys to keep up here. Yeah, it is. Eh, we're still getting underway here. Teams moving out. Got the uh, U.S. platoon, pretty much all uh, all motoring south, basically due south. No contact with Russian forces yet. Russian forces presumed uh, to be motoring from Bravo Three. Uh, gonna move. I think their first patrol point is somewhere Fox Four One. Potentially... Actually, I don't know why 2 has... a shield over there. That's blue, too. That doesn't make sense. I'm pretty sure this is their patrol point, Fox 4-1. That intersection. We're gonna pop back over here and see what Alpha Guido and Nas are getting up to. They're in the point position for their squad moving through. Alpha Guido, fire team lead. We're just gonna... I need a keybind for uh, turning off all the HUD widgets at once. OWI, if you're listening to this, first of all, Happy New Year, Happy 2021. Um, I know you guys are hard at work on the next point release um, and getting a new map in whatever else that you're doing right now in, like fixing Canadian forces so that they could be modded and, you know, doing great things. Um, a couple of requests. Event. How about you fix outlines? And also, can I get a toggle? Or maybe there's a toggle. Can you just, like, add that to the GUI so I can set it without having to go into the console? Toggle for the HUD elements. I appreciate it. Command for squad two. Alpha two. Oh, can't get through that tree right there, Alpha. Once you get down to Hotel 53, if you can get your uh, team spread oh. of Western security watching that road and maybe west of you. Yeah, I got that. I know this might be. Uh, might be kind of rough here, but I'm trying my best to keep the picture reasonable here. Go for three. You have your Bravo fire team hold up there on that uh, intersection, pretty close to where they are, watching that intersection in India 5. Alpha and his fire team are the first ones here, and they're on the uh, riverbank. Copy that. You can see the outlines of everyone else moving, or the, uh, the triangles of everyone else moving through. Command, uh, waypoint 
is clear. We got our own uh, Blue Force trackers. Roger two. Raggy calling it in. Oh, we're starting to get red for popping up on our map. Is that correct? Yeah. Roger. Lots of hurry up and wait. Russian patrol starting to get into uh, radar distance of our spectator camera here. We want to spoil. Ooh, there's Decrum, uh, Red Fort Commander. Russian Commander moving with his uh, Squad 4 there. We're going to go ahead and change icons real quick just to see what everyone's looking. Squad 4 keeping a. Uh, they're on the edge of this field here in the tree line. They're keeping a western approach open. More of the Russians starting to appear in our map area. Oop. Here we go. Do we know where the second waypoint is? That's a good question. Do we know where the second waypoint is? Squads, Company HQ has just notified me of our next location of patrol. It is in Hotel 441. That is the uh, large complex that is to the west of... Uh, the industrial <laughs> yard. Squad five. Russians uh, uh, appearing like they have a pretty wide stance here. That's going to be a problem. U.S. need to get a move on. Looks like we have Russia holding a intersection, Echo 4-1, as a uh, blocking position, maybe. All of Russia are motoring northeast, though, or, or east and north. Squad 1 way up here to the north. Let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the uh, squad moving through the middle we got russians here they're keeping pretty tight formation moving through the forest of course russians aren't afraid right now no real indication to be Squad one for Russia moving in. Golf nine, Roger that. Golf five, nine, five, copy that. So squad five moving north, gonna do it in a run around. Squad three might be starting to waltz in. Squad two and six gonna be moving up the uh, coastline here, the riverside, towards the uh, towns here. Not anticipating contact for another maybe five minutes or so. Of course, it could be, uh, yeah, if, uh, if K9. <coughs> oh my god. I, hit, I thought I hit my freaking button deck on it. Um. God. Ugh. <clears throat> Understood. Sorry, my thought. If uh, 
K9 steps it up and starts moving pretty fast here and doesn't really watching no rush is already on the point oh boy <clears throat> See the Russians here. Looking for ways around this wall. Uh, walls are pretty real. Next to a skeleton doing his thing, running around like you do. We're going to go ahead and fly back towards a uh, U.S. position moving towards squad one. For Russia moving around the west side of the wall probably gonna find it in on the south side here if they're not gonna bypass it completely uh, maybe K9 is not gonna be in contact anymore it could be squad two here wow squad one's punching straight out makes me wonder if the objective is still the first objective for them oh boy Another red house. And hey, what do you know? Nah. It's clear. Mr. Raggy, like, not in front of his squad. Oh, it's a new oh, house. It's it's closest Russians are right across the road. Not exactly visible, though. Oh, they're going to be visible now. Will Alpha see them? Alpha's going to be running up on them. Does he have peripheral vision? Savvy, He's looking behind here, him. Kind of watching down the road. I think the Russians probably see them. Uh, if I had to guess, the Russians have eyes on these guys moving across the road here. Yeah, they do. Look, Camel's got his aiming, and the Camel's opening fire. Numbskull is down. AR tags Stevo. Unfortunate, numbskull. You uh, you forgot to you forgot to look over your left shoulder. Uh, there's a whole squad just basically laying there at about uh, 60, 70 meters. Numb skull, it happens to everyone, no worries. Squad 2 has had a fire team size element to defend against two squads very shortly. If Russia kicks this fifth squad into gear and moves them up the road, could have problems. Let's see, who's shooting over here? Got an AR opening fire. Pretty good uh, call out there. Mr. Aggie uh, keeping himself in check. Cartel fire team lead. Is uh, looking around. Trying to get eyes on. Russians. Russians are going to loop back north along the west side wall of the industrial zone. Raggy is still maintaining his blocking position now. With a fire team size element, they have garrisoned a structure. So far, the Russians haven't made a lot of noise to their west. I don't know if uh, Clutch Too Much is really paying attention. I don't really think anyone's looking that way. Okay, actually, we have. Paladin, I think. I wonder if Paladin sees these guys. Uh, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a maybe not. Clutch too much now, looking west, but Russians aren't quite there yet. Another 
40 meters or so, they'll be up above this hill. Squad one and squad, Russian squad one is going to run into squash, uh, US squad four here. Gaming boy, Math Elias, uh, Meepso, Gaming boy gets hit. Gaming boy uh, immediately drops down and starts healing himself. He's a medic. Looks like uh, Captain Chuck there. Uh, oh, here comes Krusty and Chuck with the gr cool grenades. Gaming Boy gets killed. Trying to run away. Smart thinking. Math Elias in contact. Is trying to suppress where those grenades came from. Cr Krusty is uh, also suppressing. Meepso. Mad Lad is going to kill the corner. I don't think Chuck knows this guy's that close. And Meepso gets a kill. Is Meepso going to pie it? Meepso's going to try to pie it. Krusty throws a smoke. And Meepso's going to back off. And I think the Russians are going to try to stretch their lines out here. Squad 5 of the South might be making contact with Squad 2 any second now. But right now... U.S. in a pretty weird position, but it's strong. The line is wide enough to really stop the Russians from proceeding. And they have their entire team here, whereas Russia has half their team here. And I do believe we have contact. Squad Squad 5 is getting massacred. Russian fire team walked in. Alpha Guido goes down, though. And it looks like uh, they I don't think they anticipated Salty being up there, but Stretch is dead. Nas eats part of a grenade, but he's not hit with a frag. More frags being thrown by Russians. And that one actually lands in front of Nas. Javi is up here by himself. He's trying to crawl away. I think Salty has his number if he's standing up. Pretty good uh, result there for Raggy and his fire team holding this blocking position. Right now, six kills for US to three for Russia. And U.S. have a superior position here. They're going to have their objective. All the Russian fire coming in now. Gotcha. And you can see U.S. definitely have this building on lock. Salty's trying to find an angle to shoot back at. Russians are shooting through the fence, I think. We're gonna go back up north. Squad one, Russia is about ready to walk directly into the U.S. line. Cosmo goes down. Stevo's down up here as well. Exoskeleton made it through the lines though, and Exoskeleton's looking for blood. Any U.S. soldier pops up over those uh, trees is going to get it. Volcom's maneuvering. He's uh, squad leading now. Or he's squad leading. This is five. Yep. Died. Oddball got hit. So Volcom's leading the squad now. Still a buddy team up north. Buddy team up north is uh, getting ready to be walked up on Camel. <laughs> Nope, Camel not fast enough to take out Hugo Stiglitz and Beware. Beware making the good call to fall back. These engagements are still really uh, favoring U.S. Fulcrum has pulled his guys back across this road here. Aside from his uh, fr this uh, scouting buddy team up here. 
really just skeleton out here by himself. The Russian, it, the Russian side is now starting to bring the rest of their force into contact. Going back down here to the south side of action. Squad 2 U.S. fighting now the remnants of 5 plus Russian Squad 3. Russian Squad 5 suspected to be uh, sort of holed up in this uh, building here. Gelly is going to bleed out. Oh, no. Gelly is down to red. He got hit through the wall there, and he was not bleeding, but he's still hurt. Smokes. I think they want to advance. All the smoke's being thrown. I wonder what Squad 2 is going to do. He's got ammo. Oh, there's Gimli. North contact is broken off. Squad 1, the remainder of Squad 4. Squad 4 looks like... Okay, their SL is still up. They still have commander. U.S. is in a pretty strong position now, but I wonder what their mission is. Just outside, I don't uh, know. I missed if they got a the third building. patrol point or not. Three, they have secured yeah, their patrol point, uh, if you remember I Hotel 44. Long range fire up north. So the smoke is, seems to be a distraction play. Maybe they're going to try to slip southward. Three is going to the south side of the compound to give uh, supporting fire for two. The Russian elements are still dug in on the yeah, south side. Given the hill that runs up to this compound, that's going to be a bad position if they get caught out. There's going to be enough trees. I think there's enough forest between squad two and that position, though, to help them not get completely schwacked when squad four walk around the compound here. So squad three is just going to move with two, I think. I think we're going to see fire team bounding here. Cover us, we're going to stitch up to it. To the next on me, Charlie. Let's go. Okay. We're not taking any contact now, so I think they have uh, fallen back. Guys, we're seeing this is fire team bounding in action. Russians are still in this forest here, about a squad and a half worth. And there, anyone that comes around the wall here is going to have a bad time. Go. Matter of fact, anyone that goes upstairs could have a bad time. Buxo is in a pretty decent position to just uh, schwack anyone that peeks through a window. A number of Russians are. Possibly Blue Jericho, Random Person, Galley. U.S. just clearing the structure now, though. Uh, and Russian's gonna open up on the building. Redipus gets tagged. Dirty Gertie Man was just standing in the way there. Redipus is still bleeding, but he's returning fire. A nice spray. And Redipus now gonna bandage. He's not done the direct contact, but a grenade goes down. And Sasa and Redipus get taken out. A twofer. Summers gets nailed inside the building. Killer J is out here by himself now. 
outside the wire, so to speak. Ooh, U.S. grenade deletes that Russian. Straight to death. Do not hit the give up screen. What is Delshawn doing? Look at that guy. Look at this Russian. He's going to throw a grenade. Grenade might have some distance. They had the distance, but no one was in the backyard there. Probably because there'd be no way to effectively have any firing position from inside the fence. Hearing contact up north, and that's because the Russians have moved and occupied the position the Squad 4 are looking to get into. We're going to zoom up here and take a look at what's going on with Squad 4. They haven't quite made it to the west side of the compound. Okay, you go. You can move. We're bound up. I'm taking contact to the... Looks like the remaining squad up north for Russia is starting to poke into the north. For some reason, six have moved across the road. And they're firing back pretty heavy now. Oh, here's six over here. Rich, Jack 800. And I think they're falling back. Ooh. Tracer's coming dangerously close to Rich here. Moving. Reloading and moving. Not firing. Action started about Five 10 minutes, minutes ago. ago. Excuse me. Action started about 10 minutes ago. Set. Stop the contact to the. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, we have contacts west. Oh, lag. That's not good. Sloth is back here, basically full autoing to provide covering for his uh, element, falling back. They oh no, and they're, they're about to be hit. Right but Nightmare well, Generator um, dead. Right at him, it's Salty Toast. Wow, uh, on top of it. Razor stuck out here by himself. Salty threw a grenade. Pretty close. Good thing he's behind a tree. Blue Monk and Razor are still behind. The Russians snuck behind him. Frag frag Another frag goes off. More frags. Blue Monk and Razor, part of an L part of a fire team that made a in run around, and Razor's actually got firing. Razor's shooting at someone. I think Razor's trying to shoot towards Salty Coast. Grenades get ever closer to Razor. Take a look at the south. I think I'm out of render range for these Russians here. Yeah, I'm moving west to support you, Raggy. I'm gonna take a look and see if that's just the case. Am I out of render range? Here comes uh, Smoke Barrage. Where's my camera going? My camera's going backwards. Cool. Maybe these Russians turn tail. Or actually, they could have. Yeah, they could have just disengaged. I think that's what happened here. You got a UAV up. Command for squad two. I don't know if this is U.S.'s UAV. I think this could be Russia's UAV. I think Russia have a UAV up, and they uh, definitely have eyes on two and three. UAV is not going to provide eyes on direct eyes on the U.S. soldiers. They're in the compound on the west side. They're looking for places to get over. Man, if they had sandbags, that would be cool. They could just put them on the wall and jump up on them. Here comes the... Uh, Artillery smoke barrage. And it has been executed. U.S. moving north from the south. Uh, squads two and three holding that blocky position at the town have now moved up. And it looks like uh, 
Okay, so we're seeing two drones. So I'm I'm assuming this is Russia's UAV and this is US's UAV. Both teams picking up the pace of three if you can still put down some fire to your north just to keep whatever is west of front. Both teams using a UAV now. Copy. I was gonna move to support two. Do you want me changing from that to support north? And US forces have withdrawn from the north altogether. And it looks like we're seeing Squad 2 book it hard for another patrol point. The Russians are doing just fine, realizing... I think there might be some squads out of... No, these are all four. Squad 1 here. Russia's uh, command uh, seems to be suffering dramatically. Only three squad leads up that I can see. 14 kills for Russia, uh, 20 for U.S. Command, this is six. I am six strong currently. Roger six. All right. Um, we've got a couple options for you. You can either harden up there and wait for them to uh, either try and flank on uh, five east. Squad six is uh, was on the road. They fell back. There was also another fire team that came around. I guess Razor made it out. There was a fire team that flanked them and from Blue Monk's position. They were over here. They flanked the U.S. northern line that was holding east to west here, or west to east here to the north. Got flanked in the side from the east. U.S. have fallen back. Squad 6 here. Oh, no, we got contact close. Ghost walked up on Sven and got killed, but got a Russian before he went down. How about some grenades, Baker? AR fire goes down. Spin is going to try to put some AK rounds back at him. I think Rambo Locust just went down. Baker. Russians are falling all around Spin. Blue Jericho goes down. And Baker's going to fall back and meet up with his guys. He lost a buddy in that exchange. Rusty Shackleford just got hit. May have been from the side here. I think Silent may be responsible for that. Silent and AR found himself a tree and he's looking for things to shoot, and I bet you that's what happened. Silent's got a perfect shot on this guy. And he's letting him know. Silent's letting Rusty know he's still here. And that was a low percentage play. Rusty had to try to make it. Rusty's down. Smokes on the backside for this Russian force. It's going to be their saving grace once everything builds up. Russians down to two here. That's because the command element that was in this forest and squad two have pulled out. Squad three not in communication. Is uh, maybe lagging behind with the orders here. Russians are moving back. They're moving back west. Everyone's moving back west. Even Squad 4, north of the compound, the road north of the compound, they're moving out west. Russia may be falling back here. They may be digging in. At another patrol point. Nope, nope. Actually, not the case. Looks like U.S. are going to be uh, defending the Alamo point for this round. Squad 2 let down a hab at the... We have contacts in the building. Box 4-1. Oh. Something just flew over. Something just flew over. No explosions that I can hear. Russians are falling back west still. They're running straight across this field. No fear. Command, this is four. We have reached two's western perimeter. Better be Roger. coming up shortly. And Roger, here comes supplies. 4K Roger. build. And a handful of ammo for this gun. 
I think that might have been the supply drop, actually. U.S. with this uh, with this outpost established, they get to put down fortifications. They also get an HMG. K9 has got himself a primo position here. Anyone pops through this hedgerow and they're going to get blapped. And that could be what this fire team is about to do. If they turn this corner right here, that's bad news. On the other side, they can proceed through here. But of course, we got another fire team watching to the north here. It's, uh, it's, it's weak. But there's a possible... Well, actually, these guys aren't really watching down the road, are they? Gimli kind of is. And from this position, you really can't see anyone yet. Maybe soon. Yeah, there you go. You can see Ted, and he's only outside of the church. And they're going to proceed towards that uh, the corner of Hedgerow. And Blaze Assault trades the corner, and he gets destroyed. I think that was, uh, Scottish. Scottish with the AR. Basically, like I said, they turn the corner of the hedgerow, they get black. Russians now, uh, closing in the north. They are a bit more consolidated. They're not really consolidated enough. There's two forces for Russia. They're going to have a squad swing around from the west and go east. And they got a north to south force that might get a little bit more of a uh, chance to run on the outpost. You fill in that space between uh, Matt and Charlie. Let's see if uh, Raggy spots these guys in the forest. Copy. Oh, they're going to put the HMG here. Oh, no, it's going to be too little too late. The entire Russian force is going to sneak to the east here. If they place the HMG facing north-northwest, it might not have the uh, ability to turn. And it's an HMG bunker. HMG bunker is not going to be in a good position to support, but it is going to give them some pretty hardcore uh cover all right uh gimli uh you have to yeah i think you can within a hundred meters and i think squad four cover. on russia may have seen them right here. and here comes fire silent goes down gets shot in the side that was a pretty long distance shot there and killer j also getting shot at killer j goes immediately to ground this could be the distraction the squad two needs to get a little bit more of a solid position. Killer J gets hit twice though, and a third time down for the count. TKO on Killer J. Russian attack from the north is starting to have some serious uh, possibility here. Cartel firing off a few shots, trying to maneuver to get out from behind a tree and has paused the Russian advance. The Russian line is formed here. You can see a line formed here on the edge of this field. And you got a blocking, you got a uh, support element for the commander here, the squad lead kind of in charge. Twenty-seven kills US, 17 Russia. Russia's got a ways to go to come back from this. And U.S. have the upper hand. And the HMG doesn't have the traverse. Doesn't have enough right traverse in that bunker. So that's a wasted HMG. Meanwhile, the Russians west side are starting to occupy buildings. They're starting to go, they're starting to hop from place to place. And I think the U.S. are going to try to fall back. Yep. Squad 3 making the smart call. And look at this. An entire squad is coming in from here. Oh, here comes a, uh, a smoke artillery mission. 
to help cover three's retreat. Meanwhile, squad two is in contact. Thanks to the uh, sandbag here. Oh, and Russia's throwing pink smoke. Two ARs. <laughs> this is great. They're just going to fire into the smoke, aren't they? They're looking for contact. Looking for tracers, anything to shoot at. And they're just going to start pouring in the fire into the smoke. Speaking of smoke, here comes some more of that artillery smoke barrage landing. It's starting to get more difficult to see on the map, but... Uh, oh, there we go. The Russians are definitely going to have a chance to use this to close the distance, but they're all to the north of this. The avenue of advance may not be uh, beneficial. There's still an entire squad loitering on the west side. Not making an advance. Oh, and we got a Russian pullback. Russians have pulled back about a squad size force on either side of the objective now for Russia, so their force is split. Razor and Blue Monk leading the charge here. Surprise, we stream. Welcome, Solo. Alright, so the Russians are bugging out. They're going to go around this uh, hangar, make another way through. Uh. Ooh. Russians. If indeed they get around the south of four, you'll be in a location. Get away with the move! Oh man. A fire team in the hedgerow. Hey command, just a heads up. That's and that's because right Scottish has moved front. position. He's not watching the hedgerow corner anymore. I think his squad lead is anticipating contact from their direct west. You can see on the map here. Oh, it's going to happen soon. Dashby is actually hugging this hedgerow wall here. He might get spotted if he's not careful, but he might actually want to get spotted. I think they're crawling. They're crawling. To get to the next, uh, to the... The next uh, wheat field. Uh, Squad two, that's a negative. Just check with HQ. Uh, something went wrong with that ammo. It got wet or something, and that uh, doesn't work anymore. Full bar. Oh, rough. I heard shots uh, to the south here. U.S. definitely going to be so on there. Just keep looking northwest. Bit, right. You can look hey, west uh, and southwest if you I'm need gonna to. Start spreading them out. Uh, be careful if you spread them out northwards. That burn, they've got some pretty good shots. All right, it's going to guys. The Russians are sneaking around somewhere. I need to know where you think they've got. We've got enemy contact. Mathalius gets tagged. Woo! What a shot! Nah, that could have been Silas, that could have been Fizco. How did he get shot from here? Must have been Tracer Traceback. I'm trying, I'm trying. Russian objective now is to attack the U.S. position. They are under strength. Yeah, keep his head down. Although U.S. hasn't gotten a kill for a 
in a little while now. It's 27 for them, 18 for Russia. Hello. Oh no, that's bad news, Sloth. That's bad news, Sloth. The lasers. Oh look, the fire team actually made it. Ted's dead. Looks like other others have died. I guess Dashby's also dead. They got grenades in. U.S. casualty, JV. Hoops is bleeding. Dashby's still in the field here. And Platinum Era gets out alive. So the crawling guys actually make it to the... They were trying to crawl in, I think. And, uh... I'm going fucking keep on that wall. I'm going from dude. I'm, I gotta reload. Somebody watch the door. Oh. And uh, Phil Nye is about to get smacked with an entire squad here. And here we go. They're in contact. We're going to scroll down to uh, Xcron. Is stuck out here. Phil Nye better watch it. He might get killed here. Xcron going to try to crawl out of it. And, uh, oh, shit. yeah, oh shit indeed, my dude. That Jexcron doesn't have a, uh, grenade. Has a, oh, no, yeah, he's reloading. Ooh, does he see scope? Oh, he does. Scope gets tagged. The Russians have stalled out on the west side, but they're taking pot shots at this defensive line here. Dashby just doing his thing, doing whatever, I don't know. Uh, meanwhile, Command, Decrum, and Hovis' squad are on the east side now. The Russians have the most men on the east side. Xcron is going to try to take, try to make a lucky shot here count. Oh, Hovis is crawling. Does Ektron see him? He doesn't. Yeah, he does. Ektron gets two. What a legend. And he's got a fall back. And here comes the smoke. Cartel falling back as well. Does Phil make it out? Oh, Phil made it out as well. Xcron gets tagged in the uh Xcron get got tagged and bandaged before he made it out of the smoke. And make it back to friendly lines. Was that a Russian shooting close or was that you guys shooting? That was a Russian! Razor and Blue Monk are in the compound! Fucking Christ. Cartel's dead. He's underneath my window. I'm gonna run right Yo, close. Razor, what's Razor gonna do? Razor's right, gonna sneak side, around the south side, side, side here. Southeast corner, maybe. A lucky shot yep. through the yeah, wall east. prompts Jewish. Razor to bandage. Is that strong here? Lodge gets smacked out the window. U.S. command is down. Scope sergeant, dead flow, and the Russians are making a run on the wall. Cole gets to the wall so he can bandage. A fire team sized force now engaging the objective directly, and the rest of the Russians have looped around. They're gonna run straight for the HMG. Reggie, oh, the man is dead. Ru uh, U.S. still have a lot. Push over to the side of the field, maybe. They're gonna abandon the HMG. Taking over command. Uh, we got smoke right in front of us from the east. From the east. Yeah, we take the close contact on the far east. Push the fire team here. Are we even allowed to 
Russians are going to have a chance to uh, really attack the fob point. The U.S. have got to pull this squad out from the south. I wonder if the numbers are actually even here. Cole getting... Cole's actually shooting a jack. Russia now with a time limit to engage and take out the objective. Five minutes to take the fob. Can't see shit, they make... And you can see the Russian Skibli gets torn to shreds as he runs back out into the field. Bisco actually making shots into the uh, the building where the objective is. Cole is still looking for a place to get in at. The Russians have snuck up to the uh, hedgerow right here. And, uh, well, clutched too much. Didn't clutch enough. Del Sean jumps the hedgerow and gets a kill. Jumps right back. Platinum gets pistoled, I thought. He gets shot from behind. Nas gets hit. Hayfield? Yeah, directly fucking north, like fucking 10 meters. Hey. Yep. Silas Fisco and Chicken are gonna make a run on this barn. They're looking for the right opportunity to get in. Through the windows, and we can cover two doors here and be completely fine. All right, cover, cover the here door. Here we go. I'm gonna heal you. They're outside. They're outside. Floor. Which, which direction? Which direction? Uh, uh, Silas is right on the other side of the wall from Hot Mike. They must be near our. I think Hot Mike going way. or Silas going around, going around the other side. To the right, to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear him right. Yeah, they are to the right. To the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got right door covered. Close right door. Bisco gets shot. Silas takes a bullet. Get left door. Oh, I think I think, I think our ally got them. Oh, Sloth is them. dead. Damn it, that was close. Roger. Wait, chickens on the roof? Chickens on the roof of the barn. If we just stay here, we're just gonna lose all momentum. I don't think it was him. Oh yeah, it probably was him. Do they hear him running around? Yeah, contact oh, left. Chicken gets Never shot mind, off the roof of the barn. Dead. Salty Toast nice probably responsible people. for that guy. Good shit, guys. Maybe not. Maybe we're from inside. And I think that might be it. Hey, we're doing this fucking good. Keep it up. And that's GG. Russia not able to make it worth it, but a valiant attempt at the end. 46 kills for U.S. to Russia, 31. Oh boy. What a round. Round one in the books for Operation Cobweb. Guess what? Round two coming up soon. Take a big deep breath, and I'm gonna also take a big deep breath. And uh whew. we'll be right back for round two, guys. I'm sure. Alright, you know, right, who doesn't quiet, have a kit? Like clear comms, clear comms. We're gonna give this a quick brief here. Alright, we're gonna have a brief. Let's listen to Decrum. Alright, clear comms. So thank you all for coming out. I know this, the first round was a little long. You all fought very valiantly. We were moving in very well. I appreciate all of your guys' work for the first round. For the second round, we're starting here. We're going to be moving to the location of Golf 822 as a first patrol location. From there, we will continue on and adapt as we can. We'll be moving in directly there. Check the markers as all the squads are assigned to the tips of the arrows. We're going to push there, and then from there, we're going to move to the next location. As we move for this first one, we are going to have nearly a uh, column, or the same kind of file, move quickly. After that, we're going to adjust into a uh, slightly different formation as directed by your SLs in order to be able to engage contact as quickly as possible. As part of this next one, we're going to be moving a lot quicker and trying to be more nimble with our tactics. So be advised if we suddenly jerk you around. 
Does anyone have any questions before we get started? All right, so I need to break them out for live. Okie doke. So that leads me that they may not be able to see the markers. Go ahead and give the markers so they can see. So it looks like we've got um, objective for Russia first up. Got Charlie 7 3, which is a town. A bombed out town. Big whoop. And we've got. Uh, Objective one for U.S. Golf eight two. I wonder how direct this is going to be, and if we end up on this road, this could be this could be even longer around than round one. I think. <laughs> uh, it's possible. Uh, we're going to be on foot for a little while here, so. Overview map looks different from the north. Uh, we're on Beneshaw. So it's like a custom. So you can see the forest is the dark gray or the light gray rather. Uh, and uh, fields are going to be green. And wheat fields, the farm fields are going to be this uh, darker gray White lines here are, I believe, are hedgerows. I could be wrong about that, actually. Let me check. Uh, where were we last round? Yeah, actually, they're not hedgerows, but they are, like, mounds. Hedgerows are actually this lighter green. It's kind of hard to tell. Kind of looks like open street view, if I'm honest. If you're familiar with online maps. Yeah, so this are, these are not buildings. These are more like uh, different types of grass. Uh, this is going to be like fields, like the farm fields. It could be wheat fields. It could be like open green fields. Uh, hard to tell. Because also you have all this around this particular uh, cluster, this particular point of interest. Um, and I know this is not all wheat fields around here. It could be tall grass. It could be like random patches of tall grass. Um, obviously, these are all craters. Yeah. And you also see some of these craters that were once buildings and like walking paths and ditches and stuff like that. Um, so you know it's it's all it's it's all crazy and different. And we're live round two, thanks to our a uh, thanks to our uh, admin Evan SMA. And here we go, everyone's moving out. Running around with your hands in the air like you just don't care. We'll break it out once we get up there, but as for now, we're going up there in dead calm. Uh, when we get up here, I'll tell you how to fix it. We'll see that's what that works. That was a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a dead then I'm just gonna get one shot by grenade. Shut up. Gonna make me yawn. If I was gonna yawn right then, I was gonna what do it over the microphone. In the game. You can't stop me. But it would be bad if I did that. Because we're live and it's the principle of the thing, guys. It's the principle of the thing. We're gonna hop over here to uh, Scope Sergeant. Generator and Razor. I think you're doing your scene and shit. Yeah. It's more important to stick to cover and be close to your team. Roger. You mean you don't want to get a compromise? That's good. I see no matter what we do. Walking. So much chattering, in fact, that they stop when I actually get a decent pace for the camera to move.
it would be bad if I uh, yawn, but um, at this point, I have been up for a solid 25 hours now, so. The sacrifice I make to bring you guys this glorious content. Oh, I got stuck in a tree. Rambo got stuck in a tree. Well, don't do that. We're gonna go up to squad one here. Hood on point for his squad. Open arrowhead. A cup or is it a, you have two of those, each know, fire team, so Charlie being back, row in front. Okay. Squad it in between the two, that way I can communicate. Well, I mean, it's just a tree, man. Sometimes you just get right, stuck in trees, bro. Out. And, uh, looks like, uh... We've reached the point of... Maybe it's time to slow down. Oh, it's their first objective. Golf A2. So they're actually making some pretty good progress. They probably ran the whole way. Everyone else is kind of walking. Staggered a little approach here. Go down to squad four. And the shower is very much a super forest crazy place. Objective is a patrol, so both teams are on a patrol here. Uh, they're getting fed objectives one by one. That's the dream, dude. Bring the firepower. Not some. The firepower. Echo 826. Echo 826. Okay. So we're making farm yard, or the farm uh, farmhouse here. Plus, I think this is a barn. Not sure what these are. We'll see when we get over there. Squad five is in the best position to get there first. We all just split up to some weird. There are medics, but this is a one life event, so no one's going to be reviving players. But medics, obviously. You know, can heal people faster, get people back in the fight, get people stam after they've been shot. It's not my fault we're can't jump this log. Actually, based off the uh, trajectory, we would be the fastest because we have the least amount of distance to cover. Oh my god, chicken! And we see Russians on the map for the first time. Yeah, you better hit your squad six. Oddball has a squad god, south god. of their first objective. Look at his log chicken. Yeah, they're together. <laughs> Getting some good eyes in the cornfield. Yeah. If anyone's in this field, I'm gonna fucking see him. Oh, look, it should be just running out here, bro. Oh, we're only following U.S. We follow U.S. last round. We switch teams for round two. Both teams have the same objectives. Uh, well, different objectives, but the same mission. Michael, what's going on? Uh, you missed round one, which was pretty fun. Uh, a bit of a Thunderdome there at the end. But U.S. won handily, squad and a half up. Uh, this is mission, or round two is getting underway. We see more Russian units on the map now that we're closer. Uh, we've got four squads in view, plus the commander, Londarts. Got combat, we got Sloth and K-9 working towards their first patrol point. Oddball is providing south security, and Raggy's coming up behind Oddball. Oddball's got a, uh, fire team up north here. And, and um, this is all the fields down here to the southwest as well. Got US okay. with a pretty good line here. As far as distance covered, uh, you gotta give it to US here. They've covered uh, about a click and a half. Well, closer to a click and a half now. 
Uh, Russia, some units have covered definitely a click and a half. Some of them haven't. U.S. with a s clean line going up the hedgerow here, and they are taking up holding position. And that's a waypoint clear. So this was the uh, farmhouse area that we we're going to clear. You can see the small crop in the backyard of this house. Next waypoint, Echo 782. Echo 782. Oh, it's this farmhouse. Okay, squad three might be the sacrificial lamb here. Might be seeing U.S. make a more northern approach, a more northern sweep for these squads in the south. This is all forest here, and there's a road that cuts through it, so the forest kind of reset. The pa forest pattern kind of resets. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see through the forest. For some reason, Londars is dead. Uh, Russian command has died. So I'm assuming he's going to come back in at some point. Uh, we're not seeing the Russian point of view because, uh, I don't know. We don't show, we show both teams. It's not because we don't want people to be spoiled or anything like that. We don't, we, we showcase both teams, unless it's like a campaign. We want both teams to show up. Yeah, I don't know, Londard's, Londard's come back in. He'll figure out something here in a sec. Russia on their first objective. U.S. moving to their third Squad four for us, our U.S. He DC'd. Nah, he's still here. Oh, multicam. Whew. We gotta have. We gotta have a bit more Roger. firepower or horsepower in my computer if I want to run multicam. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure if I was within local range. We have run multicam in the past, but it's a uh, bit of an undertaking. Yeah. Sorry, One day in the future, time. we'll get back to it. Copy that. I, I doubt it was a team team kill. kill. If it was a team kill, there'd be a player kick by now. Uh, we will try our best. And right. U.S. securing fun. another objective. I'm going to clear left. You clear right. Why they secure the building? This oh, Jesus, I'm stuck in the fucking door. Oh, they got, they got a, you got a... Not the cleanest clear, clear. but it is clear. I just want to hear clear. that fucking clear bottom. I doubt the second floor has so anything either. It's gonna lead to clear it. U.S. are bunched up as they move, but uh... And this is kind of wide, but it's ideal for handling contact, I think. We're gonna go down to squad two all the way down to the south here. Actually, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go to squad three, because... Squad three. I concur. Two hundred meters around it. Squad three, move north, cover to the E Y intersection. So three hundred meters to oh. south. Squads two and five will take up the area. That Squad three going to deviate north here. I don't. Oh yeah, we could take a look at the Russian positions, but we see them. I mean. Not anything special. We'll we'll take a look over here. The closest contact right now. Are they going to make a? I think they're just holding the road here. They're looking north. Volcom's got a fire team here. And they're looking through the field. They're looking through the forest. I don't think they've spotted anything yet. They might spot Spence squad though. Spence squad is kind of moving as a blob and uh, they're moving close to the road. If Oddball doesn't see them by now, I think Fulcrum might have a chance to see them here soon. Yeah, 
Oh, they're moving really close now. I think they're gonna they're gonna move right in front of the bot. Yep, and Fulcrum. Fulcrum, this guy's open up. I don't think there's any casualties from that fire, but the exchange is heating up. I think oh Fulcrum just got somebody just got tagged. Rusty Shackleford, grenades coming out. They're definitely in grenade range, and it's gonna make US scroll back, scroll, scroll on back here. What a nice little bunker they've got too. They got a nice little hidey hole here with this crater. What a great crater. Ooh, in the north. Generator just ran across the road like a madman, ran straight into a fire team, execution style. Your nightmares also hit. But he's on the east side of the road. And all he's got is a tree for cover. You can see the Russians from here, they're hiding behind their own trees. Salty toast in a great spot here. Tactical nightmare. That's on the other side of that log. It's probably gonna have eyes on anyone that tries to pop up over here. Let's see if we can find another position. Scope Sergeant, not in the best position in the world, but has enough co concealment. And I think we're seeing Russia's plan execute here. Russia's plan is to have a line wider than the US. They're gonna sneak squad three in behind him and try to do what uh, what uh, Decrim's team tried last time. In the north, Captain uh, Chuck just got tagged twice. He's bleeding, and he's bleeding pretty bad. The US UAV is up. And they're about to get a bunch of intelligence. And Music sets himself up on a tree here a fallen tree and starts spraying for suppression. And all he's doing, oh, the grenade comes off close and music eats a frag in the face. A fire team size force within, within 100 meters. Keep spacing and look. Chuck is west northwest in danger of losing his life to a grenade smoke, tossing smoke. double smokes being thrown crusty and stevo here comes a u.s frag from crusty not quite the distance to get the keeps out the meeps out And they're pushing into it. Krusty's got a second fire team moving, crawling up. It's not quite wiped out yet, but look at this. Two squads now on the flanking action. It's the entire US team hitting the Russian line. Russia has pulled two squads off or they're gonna end run around the south side. US have the UAV advantage though, but it's gonna be hard to get a fix on. Captain Chuck goes down in the north side of this line. One pump firing as he tries to find a reverse slope to hide down. And he does. And I think that was uh, the squad lead dead too. Yeah, that's the, cu that's the squad leader down. Crawled straight into Captain Baker. One pump is now in command and he's totally cut off. Baker and Inject go start between him and the rest of his squad now and one pump is stuck unless he tries to crawl back around and I think he gets tagged if he crawls away. He's stuck. US still holding the line here, but down here, squad four, there's a Russian push. A fire team tries to make it in. Salty toast. In grenade range. US throwing grenades back. More grenades being thrown. There's a Russian grenade. Lands right in front of Hovis. Not quite the distance. I think it might have bounced off a tree there. Lucky for Hovis. US grenade. I thought it was a US grenade. 
Swally, are you good? Nightmare has been tagged twice. Needs to get back for heals. I swear to God, I can't see anything here. This is... I can't see anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can see right you shooting blishes and shit. It's a hard map to see on. They're likely low and in the same type of cover you are. They're likely. FTL smoke's being fired. Inject Ghost is uh, looking to hunt one pump down. We're gonna go in the south and take a look in a sec. We'll look further south in a second. I think. Oh. The one tap straight to the face. Inject Ghost grabs a kill. And I think Squad One has shifted to a secondary FTL for command comms and Stevo. Is down to two. Russia on eight kills right now. U.S. on five. It's kind of bad there, but more fire piling in on Hobus' squad. They're returning a massive hail of suppression. And I don't think it's really effective. They're pointing the wrong way. I could be wrong, though. Maybe one of them got down. We're going to go to the south here and take a look at the line along the tree line here. Russians are coming in from the south, and we'll take a look at that in a second. Silas is going to crawl across. They're going to crawl across. Chicken and Silas. They can't shoot both of us. Look at the Russians. They're in the building. Is Goops trying to fire through the building? Goops trying to fire through the building. Tag Silas. Goops returned. Uh, He's like looking through the fucking I am alive. Chicken got him. I might Chicken got him out, twice. Silas is not going to bleed out. Coops yeah, might bleed out. Uh, I think Coops is. No. Coops stabilizes. And the U.S. are now in contact to the south. And there's another. There's one squad has peeled off again. It's bad news. We'll go down to. Uh, see what Sven sees and it's not much he's looking for these Russians to be coming from his uh, west but south and southeast and they're taking a lot of fire go over to Lewis on the AR he's trying to shoot anything that moves in the forest meanwhile the Russians are pushed past them a squad is pushed past them on their east side Busty Shackelford goes down as an FTL down that's not good. Alpha Guido is just peeling the side of this. Uh, you can see Alpha Guido crawling in the field right now, looking for people to shoot. Red Bull Locust gets tagged as he's reloading and he goes down. Possibly Nas responsible for that kill. Not a lot of nades being thrown here. I don't think Russia are in a confident throwing range here. Meanwhile, Squad 5 is just going to go in. They've crossed the road, and they're now in front of the, uh, the destroyed structures in the uh, next town. And they're kind of sitting there with their heads in. Meanwhile, the force is completely split in two. Squad and a half size in the north, and it's all on Razor. They're pushing through, though. There's only uh, three Russians left in the north. If you don't count, ride them in combat sloth here. Meanwhile, Russia's squad three is now flanked to Dekram. Buffs just got zinged by Beware, or by someone. Might have, might have been a little late on that call, but... U.S. still have a stronghold in the north. Meanwhile, uh, guess what? The Russians have gone behind them and taken their original uh, third uh, patrol point. Dekram is the command for U.S., and he's just prone behind his entire element does not know these guys are here and the Russians are starting to close in towards the fire we got kimchi over here 
Kimchi and Rich about to sneak up the backside of Blue Monk. Blue Monk goes down. Wrecked and Cole. Trade with Rich's grenade. And oh, I just lost my southern element. I think B or uh, right am we ate, ate a grenade there. B where is dead. Squad three has pushed past command for US. They don't know he's there. The most cohesive uh, point is now uh, in the north. The most cohesive element is uh, north here. Uh, just a few in the south. They're slowly getting boxed in. This has gone pear-shaped for U.S. Russia on 22, U.S. on 17. US, uh, Russia with the aggressiveness here. Yeah, I think uh, Skelly says it best. No 360. Xcron taking some pot shots at U.S. element behind Razor goes to ground. Cole's dead behind. I think Cole's been dead. Then get back. Get behind. Grenades being thrown in the field. Killer J and Redibus. Killer J. Wow, look at those Matrix moves from Killer J. Dodging Nightmare's AR. Behind the log. And there goes Razor. Razor's dead. It's all up to stretch in the north. Meanwhile, Dashby has made a push into town. Look at the smokes, Dashby in the town. They've pushed through the Russian line, but now they have Oddball and a uh, buddy team to their south. Multiple casualties. Great shooting, Platinum Air even is dead. Look at Kuzmo and Hot Mike go, guys. They're shooting people inside the building. And it's possible because these buildings are wrecks. All the holes in the world for the piece, shot out. Kuzma gonna go in. And that's Dashby dead too. No SL in the south. It's just four US in the south. And it looks like Decrum's gone. Decrum just got snuffed out by a hunter killer team for Russians. Oh boy. Meanwhile, squad three. I don't think Stretch no Nope, Stretch is by himself. No one else on command comms. Stretch still has his FTLs. US in a firefight with Meepso. Meepso stuck here. Meanwhile, uh Token thinks he wants to take a little walk. Push south. Supposed to push towards the south. Token wants to push this building. And it looks like that's what they're trying to do. Can't turn off the observer indicators. Grenade being thrown. There's a smoke. Another smoke. Smoking. And a third smoke. Russians are closing in Almost on the around. northern element here. Killer Jane Summers pushing. Killer J taking shots at Tracer Fire. I think he tagged Goat there. Nightmare also has been hit again. I think Nightmare's out of bandages. He's staying next to his medic. Summers is shooting back at the Tracer. Summers is over here, right? Oh, he's right here. More suppression. Meanwhile, in the south, down to three. Oh, Jericho's now got command comms down there. 
But no one's talking on command comms for U.S. Stretch is surrounded. Virtually surrounded. And the Russian UAV is out as well. Jericho has five down here. Summer's walking towards Stretch. That's not good. Stretch got to get a move on. Stretch trying to get his guys to get a move on. Buxo gets killed from behind. Stretch needs to move. A full fire team on his hill. 100 meters away. SL, we got to go indeed. Salty knows what's going on. Salty going to try to put some uh, rear security on while the command tries to figure out how to get the southern guys moving. Russians have broken off, but Hot Mike and Kuzma are still making things rough for these guys. I would though watch that, but there's a lot more action up here. Lib is now tailing the platoon. Or the, the squad and the Russians are closing the net. They are running after these guys. Have ammo? Looks like Partisan and JCP uh, might have a good chance to get some shots off. Oh, the U.S. are in the open and they're clustered up. This is bad news if JCP sees this. Oh, boy. The entire squad is gathered around an ammo bag. Partisan has to see this. Maybe not. Maybe he doesn't notice. Does JCP notice? They're keeping eyes on him, but they're not shooting. They need to stop these guys from moving. The U.S. are getting out of the trap. There's no element to the West for Russia. This is the westernmost element for Russia. JCP and Partisan need to find these guys. I don't think they have the angle. Maybe Token. He sees him. He's following him. Or he was? He wasn't. Oh no. US snake out. Oh, Castle Guy apparently got left behind. Okay. Uh, and the US also sneak out of the south. They're down to three in the south now. U.S. almost out of the Russian UAV range. I don't think... Well, they can't hear them. They're a bit far away. I don't... Well, also, you got to realize I'm floating. To get on the ground level, it might be just difficult for these guys to see. Pretty sure you're looking at something like this. And I don't think you can really see them from here. Even if you squint really hard with your... 6k monitor running 120 hertz uh and you're 3080 i don't think you see these guys in a, at this distance in this fog in these trees oh man u.s sneak out and uh charlie 67 i think this is the next objective point or charlie their objective point was in Charlie. Blue Jericho has got his buddies and they're out of here. Russians are going to have to chase these guys down. Wow, what if U.S. get to set up another half here? Uh, get up a set of the, another half here. That might have been clicks for me. I want to go to the other side of the riverhead. Yeah. Are we holding across. up here? Yep. Well, that'll be up the stretch. Oh, yeah, that's a radio. We just set down the... There's stretch. a foot bridge down there that we can use if we want to... Yes, sir, take four got. across the river and look across. Oh, U.S. Squad 2, they're just kind of... They're kind of stuck yeah, out here. Right. They're taking a yeah, long I mean, way to leak up for sure. Russians are holding position right now. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> Come on, yeah. scope. Let's go. Riverside. Wait, you want more? Or just those? Yeah. I want to take a bigger two. It should. It should. And be more like nice. way over right now. Okay. Two's taking the nice, safe approach yeah. over. They don't want to go yeah. through the field. So they're going to go all the way around. So it's going to take a little while. Meanwhile, Russia is still holding position. Not sure what the deal is. Okay, well, no, no, no. Nightmare. It's just I was bandaging. I think like they're going to shortly yeah. realize yeah. there is a uh, outpost up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right now, U.S. need to be building, but I don't think they have supply. We're going to hold it down. We're going to set up. Bro, I've had to. You want some? Uh, oh no. Yep, yeah, we have supply now. Dude, just piss. Yeah, That's I got Put those down. Um, this is a mill. You know so I think, uh, I think U.S. are going to have a chance to defend the bridgehead here, and Russia is going to come at them after U.S. Exactly. get a chance to build. Just, you know what you can do? Just Looking at kill counts here, 31 for Russia, 27 for U.S. It's closer than you think. Dude, I was just about to get up and piss anyway, but I realized my Right now. Wow, I just heard that on stream. Very good. Okay. Looking at the scoreboard, these are all the people that are still alive, minus some of these uh, squad leads. Two, eight, ten, uh, eleven. Eleven for US, Russia, four, eight, nine, Okay, uh, Russia, sorry, let's start over again. Wait, is Londard's dead? No, Londard's not dead. One, six, uh, seven, 12, 21, 21 remaining for Russia. Uh, Russia's still fire. holding position. I think, Russia are still uh, trying to figure out what's going on here. They're holding position like something's happening. U.S. are going to get a chance to build a uh, defense here. They're going to reposition the vehicles as part of the defense. Don't worry about it. Just leave this here. This won't be blocking anything. They're going to Just stretch. And Russia on the move. Squad three now moving out. Looking at a bridgehead. Maybe trying to search. I don't know. That's me. Dude, ammo bags is crazy. When I get Russia squad three on the move. Now Russia squad two on the move. Round one was definitely long. There was no mod. Round two, we're still yeah. short on Wait, how long round one was, but uh. Dude, when I started started playing, playing, there were no fucking vehicles. Well, right. multicam is just someone on the Russian team, but no, it's piped through a producer on, computer, on, computer and it's way it's much more power than uh, put, uh, this computer can uh, handle. Wait, what? I can see. They can go across the river? Look at these two cool dudes. Oh, fucking cloud rolled in. I need you to go away, cloud. I need to be able to see. Cool guy, scope. Like, cool there guy, your nightmare. <laughs> they're, they're actually all they want. defenses. They can build all they want. They get an HMG. I don't know if it's going to be any use, but... Smoke mission. So I guess Russia's gonna deploy a smoke mission here and they're just gonna push in. They're gonna brute force it. Russia smoke mission definitely happening. That's my favorite one. Yeah. I know as soon as we start building, bring it to I have a feeling too. Oh, it's definitely gonna happen. Where's the HMG? HMG like, is yeah, pointing south down the road. 
Oh, it's got an ACOG on it, eh? That's, that's sick. Good. Yeah. Are we allowed to build, like, murder holes and shit like that, or, like, the, you know... The only optic you will ever see in a squad ops operation right here, folks. I'll cover you guys while you build. Yeah. Uh oh, oh they're coming. Uh oh, they're here coming. they come. Yeah, they're ready, pushing. Ready. Guys, smoke's inbound. Here comes the push. Just rifles, rifles out. Yeah, guns it's up. It's gonna be another two minutes before Russia they gets an engage get range. Proper, we're probably like three to one odds right now. Oh, oh it's just Oh, no. Oh, the smoke oh, is no. gonna linger, though. Might have been called a little early. Take Got as many as you can. I can't see anything smoking from the gun. Yeah, Eastern push, Eastern push, 100%. Russia forming a line. Guys, I got it. I got it. Push. 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 Watch out west. Oh, if those directly hit you, they might damage you a bit. Dig it for the half. Go gentlemen, let's do this. I'm your machine gunner, I'll dig myself. Just cover it. But the smoke lingers yeah, around. Resupply your grenades, resupply your grenade from the truck and fucking get down. I can't see shit on the main gun. Thing. Main gun's covered in smoke. That is a good point. With the supply in the smoke. truck, they'll everyone will be yeah, able to I'll resupply to full. I'm with the uh, loadout, including their grenade. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to focus eyes east. I'm fully smoked. I'm Artillery to smoke. East. Copy. Artillery they smoke barrage see, from you Russia. Can't see them, they can't see you yet. Really? Exactly. True. Oh, and ND. It sounds like uh, it's east. That was our Russian ND. What a dumb move. Uh, I mean, I guess they kind. U.S. kind of know they're coming from this direction, just based on the smoke, but... Oh, they're engaging. So this is suppressive fire. Maybe a distraction play. Oddball is gonna distract in the north. While the rest of the line moves out and makes the main assault. Surely Rush is not going to throw like a squad at a time here. Fire and maneuver. Another smoke barrage I think is coming in. Or Russia. Should be landing any moment now. Oddball's been hit. Oddball crawling to cover. He's actually been hit. AR across the river is also engaging targets. Mulgardi has got to be coming in. Russian lines haven't moved yet. I think they're waiting for the smoke artillery to land. Pretty drastic distance here, 150, 200 meters engage range. Even JCP is kind of stuck here behind this rock. Your nightmare and uh, scope sergeant got his numbers. Here comes the smoke. Take a look at it from the top. Smoke starting to land. And more Russians firing. The south push has begun. Squad 2 moving in. AR is also engaging people on the road. Summers is dead. That's the HMG gets a kill. How? HMG cut up the road and there's Russians are smoking the road to try to make it across. HMG gets a kill from Galley. Oddball is close to within 50 meters of the FOB now. And Toke is throwing a grenade. And it hits Mr. Raggy's dead. Kuzmo gets a piece of that frag as well. Alpha Guido is also running in here right now. They are danger close. They are danger close. I can't see anything. I'm Danger close. They're on the east side. Danger close. Token goes down. Get your frags out of east. 
Summer. Oh, that's sorry, Summer's dead. Galley's still in the gunner here. Kuzmo's now here. Alpha One Guido gets down. shot. Grenades being thrown in by Russians. Uh, Kuzmo's actually crawled up and he's one. not detected one. yet. Man, I'm on the dock I die. I don't give a fuck. Galley gets another one and Galley gets shot out of his gun. Kazami just runs up and gets gunned down in the square. Yeah, the Kuzmo tried to right crawl right underneath the, the truck the and that one gonna happen. Real close. Russians crawling around. They're on the west side now. And they're starting to engage U.S. forces. Not the best defenses, but it's effective enough. Londart's given his guys cover. Killer J gets shot what by a liberal. Liberal gets Killer J. Look at liberal in a bush. He tags Phil Nye. Phil Nye's dead. Another squad lead down. Russia losing squad leads left and right. Two left on the east for Russia. The remainder of the force is closing in. Oh, U.S. might be taking this. Out. U.S. Uh, in the lead. 40 kills to 33. Fuck me. U.S. were able to fortify their position and take back Londarts making the solo approach up and he yeah. gets shot out. Contact the wreck south. And Down to about four. Meters. I don't know if I dropped. East yeah, side. That tree. Yeah. Lancer makes a run up sure. on the point. Only saw one guy moving. Nas kicks out Goat on the top of the Hesco wall. Rolls back to reload. Lancer taking a look around, see what he can do. Down to maybe five U.S. Against four Russians. Hey, Scope Sergeant, can you hear me? Did y'all kill that guy? No. no. Did y'all kill that guy? No. Nope. I'll do it over there. Oh, healthy. Oh, no. The confusion. Scope Sergeant's killed by Nas. Well, it was uh, even, it was in US favor. Now it's not anymore. Freestalker just roaming around doing something. Uh, five US, now actually five US against, uh, I think four Russians. Lib is out here by himself. Wait, what happened? Oh no, Stretch got killed. Nas with another kill. Nas could pull this off. Nas on seven kills right now. Gotta be conserving ammo. I don't think he's had a chance to rearm. Lancer's a ammo bearer. Freestalker's walking up on Nas. Not happening. Nas takes him out. Nas on nine. Or sorry, eight. And now it's down to Dulshan, Blue Jericho, and Lib, and they're off the point. 3v4. Lib gets another kill. Hamodi 101 goes down. And Silent's gonna hear where that came from. And Silent returns fire and kills that liberal pundit in the bush. Clean shooting from Silent. 2v3. Silent all alone on the west. Nas and Lancer still up on the east. And they're slowly poking at the uh, Hesco wall here. They want to get in. This is where it's going to happen. Nas wants to take a look around here. Silent is probably making a little bit more of a beeline. They're looking for the radio, I think. They want the radio. The radio is the objective. Russia now with a time limit. 
Silent's gonna hear that radio soon if Nas doesn't, as he gets closer, bounding from Haskell to Haskell My guess is they'd be using the underbridge, going underneath the bridge to link up and unify. Jericho has kind of a right down. idea, yeah. except for they're going over the bridge. Delshawn yeah. saw Delshawn saw Nas in the Hasco. Here we go. Nas takes two bullets from Jericho and Delshawn. Silent now picking up the pace. Lancer wants to take a shot at Jericho. Hits once. Hits twice. Lancer takes a bullet from Delshawn. Silent now running. And Silent's not going to have a shot on these guys. They're both behind the sandbags, but Silent is going to take his time and slowly crawl up. Was that a grenade pin I heard? Sounds like there's a dude next to me. Nas wants to lean and try to get a shot on someone. There's a truck in the way. Might have a shot on Delshawn. Oh, and Nas is a medic. Wow. So they're going to be at full health, full stam. We're trying to take these two guys out. Silent has got to be in local range, so they're communicating with each other now. 3v2 still. And Blue just gets shot up by Nas in the Tasco wall. It's all down to Delshawn, and Silent is looking for him. And he's found him, and not able to seal the deal on Silent. Russia wins, three troops remaining at the end. Well, it was like Russia was gonna win the whole time, but it kinda actually almost didn't happen. Wow, Nas with the supreme performance there, nine kills. Nightmare had 10, holy shit. Man. Oh, that's right, because Nightmare came in from the back. Wow. It was, that was a crazy game. Woo! Absolutely nuts. Thank you guys for coming out and watching another One Life operation. That was tremendous. What a way to end the op with the uh, U.S. being able to set up that defensive position and then Russia just walking in, doing their thing. Phew. That was awesome. Thanks, guys, for watching.